Welcome back to our Sunday video. We are going to do a Q and A. We haven't done one in like five months. The last time I looked, it was like the end of December. I never know. Is it like I think we did one last week? I don't know. Yeah, we're just obsessed with ourselves, so we're just gonna talk about ourselves for a while. Will you guys ever update your profile picture and banner on? Like, I definitely feel like we'll. Probably we should. It. Like, yeah. we don't even look like that anymore. No, it's like kind of funny because we look yeah. so different. I think that we probably will be soon, actually. You know, yeah. there's like some things that mm, happen, big things coming. So new changes. I feel like my neck did that. It's like detaching. <laughs> Dr. Jason's like, no. <laughs> comfort movies. Comfort uh, movies. The holiday. I love the holiday. Um, her really favorite comfort movie. Has never seen a movie in her life. Yeah, I don't know any movies. <laughs> the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> my comfort. I'm just like anxious in bed. It's like oh. <laughs> the Joker blowing up all. Yeah. I'm like, oh. my comfort movie. I I have comfort shows. That's like I will watch thing. reality. Yes, all day. Yeah. It like helps me get out of my own brain. I don't know yeah, what it is. my comfort movie is something like The Holiday or Ten Things I Hate About You. Rom coms. Just love, love a good or rom Christmas movies for you. I feel like. Yeah. Did you see that there's a new Christmas movie with Corbin Blue and the other girl from High School Musical, and they're like all grown up now? Did you see High School Musical? No. <laughs> I sometimes don't know why we're friends. I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you will take me as I am. Yeah. Take, take me, baby. Or leave me. That was the beginning of our friendship. <laughs> Which, oh, oh, I like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which albums do you think we are getting next? It's going to be 1989 Red, or she's going to pull a surprise and give us Speak Now. Ooh. I honestly hope it's Speak Now, but I don't know. Oh, I love interesting. Speak Now. I know. Like, I love I all of them. I thought that you didn't, like, start listening to her until... No, I listened to her during Fearless. Okay. So when Speak Now came out, I was like, oh. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. I've seen a lot of theories. I honestly don't care. I'm just like, just put one out. I know. Because I all of the things that are happening, I'm just like, I don't care. Just release an album. It's like TikTok ruining it for us because we see so many people strategizing and yeah. coming up with QAnon theories about Taylor Swift. Literally. But to the point where I'm convinced, I'm like, oh, it's red. But then I'll for see something sure. like, oh, it is 1989. Yes. And then I'm like, just, why don't you just do both of them at once? <laughs> She did a performance before she released any of these remakes. Wearing that yes, shirt. the jacket. Yeah. And said Fearless. Yeah. And then the rest on the front. So people are like, is she going to release all of them at the same time except for Fearless? Because that was the only one that was by itself. I think she's only releasing three this year from what Dumois has said. Okay. I and trust. they have like their insider sources. I trust Dumois more than I trust myself. <laughs> or any teen on TikTok. Or, or anybody in life. Who just lies. Yeah. We were fully thinking that an album was coming out like I a mean, month ago. Fully so. convinced. It was like, oh, it's coming out tonight. No, like, I literally it was like the, the exact time yeah. on the clock. And I was like, refreshing. Oh yeah, it was like the 7 p.m. one. Yeah. Or <laughs> like, okay, that's raging so That one was. Imagine like, we convinced ourselves that it was going to count at 7 p.m. <laughs> I'm borderline So dead. crazy. What do you think about Olivia Rodrigo? She's the only... I'm loving all these yeah, questions. These are really guys, cute us. She's the only person on my line lately. Well, by the time you guys are watching this, her new debut oh, album yeah, will be tonight. out. So, like, free promo oh my for God. Livy, baby. Livy. <laughs> Wrong Livy. I know. Um, <laughs> I love her. I think she's so cute and so talented, and I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen. I think the thing that kind of sucks, though, is that social media is, like, overexposing. Yes. And, like, I don't want that to ruin it for me. I know. I've heard... Every song of hers that comes out, I hear it one million times on TikTok, and I yeah. kind of get over it quick just because I hear the same chorus every other TikTok. Mm -hmm. But I do love her. I'm excited for this album. I'm not like fully obsessed, but Good For You is my favorite song so far that she's put out. Yeah, mine's Deja. They're all good. Ugh, I just think she's so cool. Oh. Most fun memory you guys have with each other. Ugh, I feel like we have too so many, many to count. Memories. I always just think of the cart at Walmart, even though it's like not that oh my funny, God. but it was to us, it was so funny. <laughs> it was like right when we moved. I think here. that's why it was like so hectic. Yeah. We were, like, we told like, this story so many times. Beginnings. Yes. We went to a Walmart, and <laughs> this has never happened to me before, in case you're new here, but the cart... Well, hold on. Mind you, the Walmart was like 40 minutes away. Oh my God, so far. We don't know why we went all the way over there. And yeah. then the cart, like, locks when you get too far. We were still in the Walmart parking lot, but mm -hmm. apparently our car was parked too far away, so then it locked. And we were like, <laughs> we didn't understand. We were trying to drag it. Yeah. it. We looked like insane people, probably. Yeah. It wasn't a thing where either of us grew up. Yeah, <laughs> no. Things the other person does that make sense because oh. of their zodiac signs. Cries. Cries. I don't know about oh, me. No. I feel like I'm just not oh. my zodiac. Oh, what did it oh. say about your the suppressed sign? anger? Yeah. Carly's <laughs> yeah. suppressed I, anger. I think I kind of do. Ooh, really? Well, I don't know. We've talked about it sometimes. Like, I'll wake up and just be like pissed for no reason, yeah. but I get over it. That's true. Passionate, motivated, and a confident leader. What are weaknesses? Let's look at you that. That makes more sense to me. <laughs> oh my god. 
on. Lack of patience. Quick loss of temper. That's the one. Aggressiveness. <laughs> Aggressiveness. <partly. laughs> yeah. Impulsiveness. <laughs> Frustrated by exhaustive details and unnecessary nuances. That is probably very yeah. true. Like, just get to the point. I don't care about, like, the <laughs> It's whole just story. an astrology video now. <laughs> yeah. What are some things you dislike about your new places after living in them for a while or things you would look for in your next home? Ooh. I personally would love a yard. Yeah. Like, now that I live... I wish that I could buy a house that had my exact interior, but with a yard. Because now that Aaron has a yard and we're here a lot, I'm like, oh, I wish I had that. Yeah. But I think that's really it. I don't think that I dislike anything. Goals. I'm like trying to think. Do you have enough storage? I do wish we had more closet space. Near it something that's like a good, that. That's really a good fed one. that one. Yeah. Really, are you going to join Nolan on tour? <laughs> Our new band is going to open for Nolan on tour. <laughs> have any upcoming projects you guys can tell us about? Guys, yes. I told you we're starting a, a band. band. But truly, like you will, we'll announce it very soon, actually. Yeah. We actually just found out we had to wait a whole nother week. Yeah, but, but it's fine. We're going to... You'll hear it, all our songs and everything. Yeah, our, our, so all our songs are going to drop on the same day. <laughs> We're going to be on Taylor's new album, and we have to wait for her drop, and then our album will drop because she wants us to wait, it's which is just really nice. such, such a process, but honestly, like, blessings yeah. to just being involved in it somehow. Yeah. You hope Emo <laughs> Night starts up again soon. Yes. Honestly, fully craving it, and... I do have to say, like, some fun things are... Can I say that? Some fun things are coming? He just said, yeah. I think everything in LA opens like June 15th or something, but they obviously don't want to be the first ones to like throw large events. Yeah. One, because they want to make sure more people are vaccinated and like just be safe. But fun things are planned for the future that I am very excited did about. Did you guys ever get anxious about growing up, going to college, starting a new job, moving cities, and how did you deal with it? I got really depressed when I started college. Oh, sad. Yeah, because it was just like such a change. Yeah. And I think that was the first time in my life that... I wasn't doing something that you're like supposed not not supposed to do, but it was like I can do whatever I want now. It's not like yeah, elementary, time, middle, yeah. high school, same people. It was like completely different. That really bothered me. I was pretty bummed oh, for like a couple of no. years. Yeah, it was weird. But then I moved here and I was fine. <laughs> oh, good. So yeah, yeah, I was like, hell yeah, baby, yeah. I like to do it. I also, mean, I could drive to college. <laughs> yeah. Also, it was nice because when I went to college, like I had a lot of my friend, like my guy friends who were a year, or two years older, like they were already They're there, already so there. they kind of like took me under their wing, and then like oh. that's how I made all my friends, and it was like. It's very seamless. Yeah. Oh, that's um, so nice. What, so I said, what's going to be the genre of your band? The genre of your <laughs> band. We laugh. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just laughs. Pranks. Laughs. Love. Oh. Love. Live, laugh, love. I got a sign like the Chugi Mom. <laughs> Frank's Frank's last last love. Love. Now that you're legally married, do you still feel obligated to have a wedding? What a weird, weird thing. Yeah. Like, I don't think it was ever an obligation. It was definitely something that I wanted to do. Yeah, maybe they didn't mean it like that. Maybe they just mean like, do you feel like or you still need did. to? Or maybe you maybe. did mean it like that. But maybe What, not. do you have a thing with uh, people having weddings? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> do you hate weddings? <laughs> um, no, I want to. And I think now more than ever, it's like, wow, the pandemic is getting a little better. And like pretty much everyone I know is getting vaccinated, like family wise, that yeah, I would be travel. concerned about. I haven't seen so many people in so long. So like, let's have a big celebration to just celebrate everyone being free. Yeah. I feel like also since she was planning wedding before this all happened, it's like she still wants to have one. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I have to have one now that I'm legally married. Yeah. How has Carly's jump roping and Aaron's yoga been going? I've fallen off the wagon for now. Yeah. I think it was literally, literally we, got the busy. we got the vaccine and then I was like down for a day or two. And yeah. I was like, okay. And oh. then the retrofitting started happening. Paris. And it's hot outside. Stop. I have done yoga like so much. You want to see my chart? I've done 16 oh my God. days. It just feels really nice. Yeah. I could like, probably use a good stretch. Eat. That's my favorite part. And you can, I feel like you would like restorative yoga. It's like basically just stretching. Mm -hmm. um, you just like lay in poses for a long time. I'm like, <laughs> no, same. I'm like uh, half doing this because I just want to sit in the frame correctly. Yeah. <laughs> What's been your favorite memory this year? Getting vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe going to Joshua Tree. Like nothing crazy has really happened yet. Yeah. Besides that. At what age will you stop doing, doing YouTube? YouTube? I don't know. What a good question. We like to take everything day by day. We uh, People are always like, where do you see yourself in five years? I'm like, I can't look that far I mean, ahead. can anybody see themselves in five yeah. years? I, I mean, I guess it's like a, where do you want to be in five years? But yeah, I don't really know. This industry Here, is like ever changing. Still the same age. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this question. Are you excited for the new Harry Styles movie? Bitch, you know I am. It's sad because I don't really know anything about it. Oh, me neither. Oh, okay. All I know is I just know he's gonna, there's going to be a sex scene. Yeah, and he's like a... 
gay police officer? I think so. Interesting. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for asking us all of these cues. And we hopefully we gave you some good A's. Thanks for watching. Make, Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye! Bye.